all right guys uh, welcome to this amazing session again this is uh, a video showing you how to trade on spot and of course how to trade on futures all right but for the cause of this i'm going to be talking about spots and in the next video we'll talk about futures now so right here on the interface on bybit you can see we are on trade all right you can see we're on trade let me just show you guys you can see we are on trade just click here and it's going to take you over to this interface where you can buy an asset on spot i gave you the definition of what a spot trade is a spot market is where you buy an asset on immediate delivery meaning as you buy the asset you get hold of the value of that asset immediately all right so now the first thing we want to do is come here and ensure that we have usdt right here if you don't know how to put your usdt in here simply come to assets click on transfer and then transfer your money from funding account to your unified trading account now your unified trading account is going to work, handle both your derivatives and your spot trades right i just funded with 15 dollars just to show you guys that you can actually trade with you know little money all right so I'm just going to click back to to trade and i want to buy this asset this is wld wld usdt i gave this as a signal today on my vip group and trust me it's been printing a whole lot of money all right but that was on derivative so now wld I want to buy this asset on spot now on spot market you can either buy at market price or you can buy at limit price okay you can buy at market price or you can buy at what limit price now if you are buying these assets at market price it means you want to buy at this current market price now what's the current market price this is it all right 5.8911 it's actually fluctuating because this is current price live market price this is the actual price it is as at now so it's fluctuating so if you want to buy this, it's very simple. You just click on market and then select this to market. In case you don't know how I was able to do that, just click on this, all right? Click on market. Tell us, tell Bybit how much worth of this asset you want to buy. Now, if you want to use your entire 100% to buy it, you can do that. It all depends on you. And if you also want to use 50%, you can also do that. So for the cost of this, I'm going to be using um, 100%. So as I click on 100%, as I drag here to 100% and click on this buy, click on this buy here, yeah, it's definitely going to what, buy this asset for me. So let's try it. So click on buy. Now, your buy look at what they just said your buy um this thing has been activated your buy asset has been activated so we want to we want to see where um our asset is so i'm just going to click on assets here right i'm going to click on assets and you can see it here i've bought with 15 dollars been able to buy this asset 15 dollars and how much what did i get 2.66 wld was what i got in value for 15 dollars right very clear and simple now if i want to sell this asset now let's say i've made profit and i want to sell it i can just simply come here click on it right then what i have to do is click on sell you remember remember when we'll buy before so i just click on sell now and then click on sell Click on sell WLD. I'll just click on that. And it's going to sell for me. Now, here's where it gets very interesting. All right. Oh, here's where it gets very, very interesting. With this, you can actually be able to set a target price, hoping that when the price gets there, let Bybit activate your order for you. That's where orders now come into play. I'm going to talk about that 
all right we're going to talk about that shortly but i'm just going to explain to you and demonstrate what an order is now we have given an order to buy at market price okay an order is an instruction on the exchange i've given an order to buy at market price now we want to sell now let want to sell this at the current market price now all right so we're going to what sell this we're going to click on sell to reverse it back to back to naira again back to dollar again are you seeing it so back here we have our 15 dollars we have our 15 dollars back again now let's do something now let's buy at market price and sell at a much higher price we want to state the price in which we would like to sell this asset now and we're going to call it limit price so we want to buy at market price now all right we want to buy at market price and sell at a higher price all right so i'm just going to click on this leave it at market it's actually on market right now i'll leave it at market i'll click on buy wld All right, now, if I want to sell this asset now at a much higher price, the current price is 5.9066, can you see it? Let's say I want to sell this at a what higher price. So what I'll do, I'll come here, change this to limit. Now I'll be able to put the price I want. So maybe I've done my analysis and I've seen that this asset is going to, it's going to fly up to 6 point, uh, let's say 6 point, five which is actually where it is going to because i've given this as a signal already let's say 6.5 right so now i'll just drag it here and now you can see if the price gets here we're going to make extra two dollars it's going to be 17.320355 so we've made profit right so i'll just click on sell wld i'll just click on sell wld now I've given I've given Bybit an order. I've given them an instruction now. They should sell at a higher price for me, which is limit. Okay. Alright, that's basically what I've just done. So I want to cancel everything and explain another one, another scenario. Now let's say we want to buy at a lower price. We want to buy at a lower price. Alright. We are anticipating the price of this asset to go up. I want to buy at a lower price. The price is currently here now. Look at where the price is. It's currently here. 5.9073. Alright, that's the current price. Let's say we want to buy at 5.5, which is lower than this amount. Alright, so all I have to do is leave it on limit and change it. Just put 5.5, drag it, and Oh sorry. I still have my I still have my um I still have my assets on WLD. Hold on, let me sell it quickly. Alright. I did not initiate it. I did not I did not sell back. Alright, I've done that. So so we want to buy at a lower price. We just set it at limit. Go to buy 5.8870 drag it to 100 and click on buy wld it's going to be in what our orders it's going to be in our orders you can see it here it's going to be in our order all right so but basically this is just how um you can buy any assets on spot trade it could be btc it could be any assets all right it could be btc it could be ethereum just basically any assets I are done.